Welcome to yet another exciting episode of IHNA and IHM Career Australia. I am Vinesh Balan. We all know that Australia has become one of the leading destinations in the world to provide quality tertiary education. There are so many courses to choose from, but sometimes an additional qualification such as a certificate for or diploma will add a lot of value to what you are learning. In today's episode, we will introduce you to one such course offered you by IHNA, Diploma in Leadership and Management. Ever felt like you need something more than your average Australian qualification to help you succeed in this ever-demanding world? IHNA is what you're looking for. IHNA offers you the solution to get yourself job ready. Institute of Health and Management, Health Careers, Language Academy are one of the Australia's premier providers for quality education and training. What sets IHNA's Diploma in Leadership and Management apart? So IHNA's Diploma in Leadership and Management is quite a unique course. Um, it's been developed very specifically by IHNA to work very well for the healthcare sector. And what the healthcare sector in Australia is looking for is very strong leadership skills, very strong interpersonal skills, um, and skills that really take, um, take a, a worker beyond simply performing the task, but also being able to operate as part of a healthcare team. And this is really obvious in the regional sectors of Australia, which is where some of the greatest job demand exists as well. Um, employers are looking for people who have great skills, but also are able to practice those skills and communicate those skills to a whole range of different people as well. What's the job outcome for IHNA's Diploma in Leadership and Management? IHNA's Diploma of Leadership and Management course includes a large amount of simulation and practice. So it's really equipping you and preparing you to take what you learn in theory in the classroom, to practice that and then take that out into the workplace as well. And that's really important for um, employers because one in every eight jobs in Australia is now in the healthcare sector. So it is one of Australia's largest employment sectors. The job demand is very high, particularly in regional areas. And it's very important that when you leave the classroom, that IHNA's course has prepared you to be able to enter those roles um, and employers can have confidence in employing you as well. What makes IHNA's Diploma in Leadership and Management award-driven? Healthcare remains a high priority sector in Australia and that's both in metro as well as in regional areas. The federal government's expected to invest somewhere around $30 billion in expanding healthcare, more healthcare delivery over the next five years. So that's tremendous opportunity for increased jobs, as I said, both in metro and in regional areas. However, it also means that employees will need to have better skills and will need to be ready for to enter the workforce job ready. And that's where IHNA's Diploma of um, Leadership and Management course has been developed develops particularly to target the healthcare sector. It prepares you to work in the healthcare sector. The scenarios and the simulations talk about working in the healthcare sector rather than simply providing you with a generic general course. The health sector is very conscious that it is employing qualified um, professionals. So it's very important when, stu when students are looking at um, courses that they choose that they are seeking and confirming that it's an accredited registered program and course rather than simply a course that's being offered by an institute that isn't registered or accredited and that really becomes important when you then seek employment because the first question an employer will be asking is where did you where did you study your diploma of leadership and management and by say, if you're able to say IHNA we're well recognized in the industry employers know the program and they trust the outcome and your capability we are proud of the high caliber of our management teaching and administrative staff we have well-qualified, experienced, enthusiastic, and dedicated staff to ensure the smooth and appropriate functioning of the college. Strong financial and student management are key determinants of the success or failure of any teaching establishment. Pathways that IHNA's Diploma in Leadership and Management opens. 
The Diploma of Leadership and Management is an ideal foundation course. So whether you've been studying in Australia already and you feel you need to um, improve your employability and job readiness, um, this program would be perfect for that, particularly if you're looking at entering the healthcare sector. If you're a student um, coming from overseas who's looking to um, uh, study in Australia, Diploma of Leadership and Management provides a number of articulation and pathway opportunities into other university programs as well. How do you enroll for IHNA's Diploma in Leadership and Management? So enrolment into um, IHNA's Diploma of Leadership and Management is a very straightforward process. You can either visit our website at ihna.edu.au and lodge an inquiry and one of our consultants will contact you very, very quickly. Or you can contact one of our consultants directly and they'll discuss the, um, the course and the various options for you. We can generally issue a COE um, within 24 to 36 hours. So it's a very, very quick and straightforward process. That means then you can have some, you have certainty about where you're studying, when you're studying. We offer a number of intakes during the year and we also have um, three campuses in Melbourne, Sydney and Perth. So there's a number of study options based on the, your choices and your preferences as to where you'd like to study in Australia. So if you're already studying in Australia or you're working post-study, the Diploma of Leadership and Management is an ideal program to prepare you to um, enter the health workforce and start working in the health workforce. If you believe that a diploma in leadership and management is what you need to get yourself career ready, enroll today. Our enrollment procedure is very simple and fast-tracked. Submit your application. Clear your LLN test. Collect your offer letter, offer acceptance. Make the payment. Collect your COA, COE. Attend the orientation. And start classes. Hi, I'm Bethel. I'm working as a healthcare professional for the last 10 years. I moved to Australia last year and having a bit of experience in the industry, I thought getting a job over here won't be that difficult. But let me be very clear, it wasn't an easy task. And then I came across IHNA. I did a certificate course from IHNA and IHNA helped me in getting a placement. After the placement, things turned around. I got a job in, IHNA made me career ready and I got a job in one of the most reputable private hospitals across Melbourne. Now, having worked there for a while, I'm thinking of upskilling myself with, by doing another course with IHNA. I'm doing a certificate for or diploma in leadership and management course. This course will help me brush up my skills, leadership skills, and also to add value to my resume. Why I'm choosing IHNA again? Well, first of all, this particular course in IHNA is very much health centric, which means it gives your focused attention on the industry. So you can actually, if you're already working in the industry or if you're planning to move into industry, it will help you a lot. Secondly, IHNA has tie-ups or contracts with most of the clinics as well as the hospitals across Melbourne. These hospitals or these clinics, they provide you hands-on experience, which is very important if you're working, thinking of working in healthcare industry. your diploma in leadership and management and how are the classes delivered? For international students, training is provided through a teacher-led classroom mode delivery. It will be delivered and assessed in two terms over 800 hours, which will include theory, self-paced structured e-learning, and simulation training with its assessments. Students are advised that they will be required to do approximately 10 hours per week of unstructured learning. You will have 20 contact hours, of which 16 hours will be delivered as face-to-face -face classroom sessions, and four hours will be supervised, self-directed, structured learning. You can complete your assignments at your convenience via the e-learning portal. 
you can complete your diploma in leadership and management in a maximum of 12 months. However, the actual time frame can vary between students based on their individual skills, experiences, and previous studies. For domestic students, you can choose between face-to-face -face or blended mode of delivery. It will be structured and assessed over a total of 800 hours, which will include theory, self-paced structured e-learning, simulation training, and assessments. If you choose face-to-face on-campus mode, you will be required to attend classes two days in a week with simulation training in a full-time option or once per week with simulation training if you choose to do it part-time. On choosing the blended course delivery mode, you can complete your theory online and simulation training on campus. So the Department of Leadership and Management can be done in three or four different modes. There's blended, there's online, and there's obviously full-time face-to-face. There's also an option for international students to do some of the theory prior to coming to Australia, which can also shorten the course. Um, the duration is also dependent on a placement component because um, part of the requirement to get the qualification is a few weeks placement, um, which needs to be done after the theory is completed. Um, generally though, on a full-time study visa, it's one, one and a half years. Um, the timings are fairly flexible. We have a number of different campuses that offer it at different times. Um, you can also do the blended mode as we spoke about before where what you do is you do less face-to-face -face time but you do more theory. There's also online where you do all, all your theory online and then just organise and coordinate your SBAs. Um, so yeah, to do the course here is quite flexible and there's lots of options and it can be completed anywhere from basically six months through to about a year and a half, two years, depending on which mode you decide. Um, Entry requirements are fairly simple as well. The general requirement is an IELTS level of 5.5 or thereabouts. There are also options where if your language isn't quite up, we can do extra English classes to help support you and put you through that course. Um, depending on which visa you come on, there, there may be a little bit of uh, different requirements, but basically an IELTS 5.5 or first couple of years of high school English understanding is pretty much enough to get you into doing this course. Um, and then from there, it leads on to a number of other things. We can also do recognition of prior learning or RPL as they call it. So recognition of prior learning basically means if you've got some experience, which is partic uh, particularly good for this course because it's a business course. So if you've done admin, it doesn't necessarily have to be health related. Um, if you've done admin somewhere or you've managed a meeting, we can recognise that prior learning and give you credit for some of your units, which also adjusts the duration time, if you like. So, yeah. Um, Who is it suitable for? Really, it's we, we at Health Careers International and IHNA in particular focus in the health sector, so all our courses contextualise to the health sector. All our scenarios and our simulations are built around um, the, the health sector specifically, but they're all transferable skills because the it is a diploma in leadership and management. So the, the management and business subjects skills are also transferable to other areas. If you... A career in business management can be highly rewarding for those who thrive in a changing environment and who enjoy the demands of being involved in business operations. Finding a good employee is hard work for a business. So retaining staff and advancing them is often the best course of action for employers. The knowledge that your employee can gain from this course can help almost any business with their management of staff, operating and streamlining business processes, and implementing the latest technology to improve the overall health of a company. By encouraging your employee to take up diploma in leadership and management, you will be laying a solid foundation to promote deserving staff to take up roles of higher responsibility, thus allowing them to grow with your business. Achievement of Diploma of Leadership and Management demonstrates skills to be a motivating leader who can attract and retain the best talent to achieve business goals and build competitive advantage in today's commercial landscape. What are the benefits of a Diploma in Leadership and Management from IHNA? 
Right, what makes IH&A's Diploma of Leadership and Management course unique, I suppose, or, or more beneficial than most others, is that we do focus specifically in the health sector. And all our simulation-based assessments or our scenario-based assessments, we actually go into labs and we specifically focus on things that are related to the health industry. Also, all our placements, when we set them up, which is also part of the requirement of, of the assessment, is actual placements. We have lots of partnerships with hospitals, reputable hospitals, large international um, health sector firms like HealthScope, which is internationally recognised. Um, we also supply placements to a large number of a variety of different types of health clinics like physios and dental clinics as well. So the, the key advantage, I suppose, of IHA is that we are health specific. So our leadership and management courses with that contextualisation in that area hold you in better stead than the standard leadership and management diplomas that you may get from other institutions. IHNA understands that first-class learning facilities are a vital component of a successful training institute. Therefore, improvement in institute facilities is a fundamental component of the institute's continuous improvement process. To date, these improvements have focused upon our campuses becoming centers of excellence in terms of health and nursing training. Also at IHNA, we have the latest technology in our simulation labs. They're all state of the art, they're all brand new, and they're all approved by the government bodies. Okay, one of the key advantages that IHNA can offer is the flexibility, particularly considering we have a large number of campuses all around Australia, and each of those campuses have different times that deliver the same courses. So if you have to take your child to childcare or you have to work part-time somewhere, you can always juggle your courses around and attend a different class at a different campus anytime you like. As well as, of course, via the online platform that we have, you can do some of your theory online and then just attend the SBAs in our state-of-the-art simulation labs. The best thing which I find about IHN is I can, it's very pocket friendly and I can afford it with my part-time job as well. And the second thing I find best about it is like um, I can work, I can study on my own time, which is very helpful for me. So I can work and study uh, at the same time. And the third thing, which I, and the third thing which I find best about it is uh, enrollment process, which is very simple, and which is very like uh, every easy and simple. Yeah, IHN is the best. IHN is the best. Yeah. IHNA's Diploma of Leadership and Management is an ideal program if you're a student um, just left year 12 looking to um, come and study in Australia. It's an ideal foundation program, has many pathways into Bachelor of Business, Bachelor of Health Science across Australia. If you're a nurse currently working in Australia or currently studying perhaps the bridging course, an EPIQ course, um, the Diploma of Leadership and Management will help improve your employability. It's also a qualification that a number of hospitals in regional areas are looking for specifically as well. So I hope you've got a bit of a better understanding about the Diploma of Leadership and Management. IHNA has three campuses in Melbourne, Sydney and Perth. We'd love to see you on campus. So what are you waiting for? IHNA provides a great platform for students to understand and learn those leadership and management skills essential for one to build a strong career foundation. IHNA provides a practical placements for all students and this is so important as it helps students to get a first-hand experience or a real-life work scenario. Interning with the big names in the industry sometimes helps students to build a relationship with them and also they can even land them an opportunity to eventually get absorbed into the same facility where they did the training from. 
Diploma in Leadership and Management with a focus on health industry is what sets IHNA apart. Finding the right job requires a lot of effort and persistence. This is one such course that can help you find a high paying job in the health sector.